Hello friends, welcome back to Belle's Library. I'm Heather and it is time for Belle's Bookland. I am so excited. We're doing my June TBR. This is always my favorite video to film every month. And so we are gonna jump in and figure out what I'm gonna be reading the next month. I am officially like done with school for the semester and Having said that, I've decided that I'm going to try and participate into a bunch of different readathons and I am very excited about all of them. And so I have a lot of ideas and thoughts on what I would like to go in my TBR. We'll see if Bell's Bookland is nice to me this month and that actually happens. Um, but if you guys are new here, definitely would love for you to subscribe and I also will have my Instagram and Goodreads down below if you want to check those out. And then I'm also going to put the playlist for Belle's Bookland down below for you guys. In February, my first month, I do explain the rules a little bit more for you, but just as a very quick recap, here's my board. It's like Candyland. We just follow it along. Um, I may have a different amount of rolls depending on what the dice want to do for me. Last month I had 10 rolls, which is the most that I've had. It actually ended up being more rolls than the month before where I also had to add on punishments and I still only ended up with nine. So, you know, but I have some special squares and if I land on those, I have a stack of prompts to go with those and then if I land on one of the little black dot punishment squares I have a stack for that. Also if I don't finish a book from my TBR I also will pull a punishment prompt and have to follow that and that's your basic general rules. So we'll start rolling in a minute but first let's see how I did in May and see if I need to take any punishments. So as I said I had 10 books I had to read. So we have Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers which I have finished. Legendborn by Tracy Dion definitely finished. Cersei by Madeline Miller I'm slightly over halfway through and I should be able to finish that one. I've got like five more days of the month so we should be okay there. And then we have They Never Learn, which I just started last night. I'm only like 20 pages in, but I'm very intrigued. The first chapter, I was like, oh, hmm. So I am sure I will be able to finish that one in the next five days. Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Check. Done. A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger. Also finished. I also had A Good Guide's Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I finished that one. And I had I Want to Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest. Finished that one. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. I finished that sucker and that is an achievement. I should just not get punishments because I finished that. And then The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. And I started that one. I'm like 15% into the audio on that one. But it's the only audiobook I have to finish by the end of the month. So five days, I should definitely be able to do that. So I have three books I'm still working through, but I've started all of them and I know I'm going to finish them. I have plenty of time. So yay for no punishments. <laughs> Okay, so I will briefly talk about a few of the readathons that I am planning on participating in. I have the Olympics readathon. I originally heard this over on Jessie May's channel. We have the Shelf Space Discord that um, her, as well as a bunch of other people, run. It is an awesome Discord, and I definitely would check it out. But I'll have her video down below, and they're doing a huge Olympics readathon. I think there's like three, four hundred people, and there's a bunch of different teams for each of the Greek gods. Odds, and so I am on Team Hera and we are totally gonna win this thing. Um, I am super excited but there's a whole like bingo board prompt thing and some fun stuff happening there and so I have I will I will put that thing here for you <laughs> the prompts. I also would like to participate in the Strangeathon. I found out about this one through Amy Reads. I will also put the announcement video down below on that one. There are several co-hosts on this one. Rain at Bruise and Binds, Marcy at Mercy Reads, and a whole handful of other people. Um, but this one's gonna be running for a week and it is reading some strange type books. So we'll see kind of what I'm thinking. I've got some ideas. I was thinking I didn't know about their book club. And so I was looking through some of their old picks and like, 
oh, maybe I can catch up on a couple of these and, and throw those in the Strangeathon. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. And the last readathon I'm thinking of is Romanceathon. I'm dying to read some romance books so much, and I feel like summer is just like I want to read romance. And so Romanceathon is definitely coming around at the right time. I listened to Jacqueline's announcement video for this one, and so I'm definitely going to try and squeeze some romance into my TBR this month. And there's a ton of co hosts for this one, too. Um, Deja's Book World, Haley Hughes, um, Reading with Jess, Gwendolyn Kessinger. Uh, I don't know. I'll have all of the readathon information and co hosts and stuff down below for you guys so you can check it out if you want to participate as well. If you guys are participating in any readathons, let me know and or if you're participating in these ones. But there's some prompts to go with all of them and We'll see. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill all of the prompts for all of these readathons, but um, I am excited to actually have the time to like really be, you know, in the book community in this way. So it'll be fun. I think that's it for now. So let's go ahead and start into these rolls. I'm definitely hoping that I have less than 10 rolls this month um, so I can just kind of be flexible with some of these readathons and, you know, whatever. But we'll see if the board is nice to me. Hmm. Okay. So we are set up. We've got Chip hanging out on start over here. And we've got Chip with our dice. And we've got the board everything here. And I'm hoping that we don't have 10 rolls this time and maybe for some romance. So let's see where we're gonna start. We've got four. That's a great roll. One, two, three, four. Ah, but we got one of the fun little challenge squares. Okay, so that's gonna be out of these cards. We're just taking the top one here. So we have random word generator for word in the title. So basically I'm gonna do a random word generator and then I have to try and find that word in the title of said book. Okay. Okay, well we got a fun special square to start, which I love getting those. So we have a prompt, which is to do a random word generator. So I pulled this wordcounter.net one up, and basically it's going to give me five words, and I told them to tell me nouns only. So it's going to generate five words. I feel like this almost should have been a punishment one because I feel like it's going to be really hard to match the words to a book. I just feel like that's going to get really tricky. Um, <laughs> So I might like kind of let myself be flexible with it like say it's a word that not like it may not have to be necessarily in the title the actual word but maybe it's something that the book is about something to do with one of these or something. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Okay. So I'm going to generate the random words. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these. We've got friction, temper, action, silver, and boats. Okay, so give me a second, and I'm gonna see what I can find. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with The Mermaid, The Witch, and The Sea by Maggie Tokuda Hall. And so this one has a boat on the cover, and it involves like pirates and the sea, so it works for boats. I think that will kind of fit in there pretty good. <laughs> so I'm excited that that word actually came up because I there was like a few books that probably could have fit in with that and so I was like yes. So this book is a middle grade. I believe we're basically following this girl who boards this pirate ship and she decides to become like pretend to be a man and then she strikes up a friendship with um, a lady that's on the ship and She's being like brought on the ship to an arranged marriage that she wants nothing to do with and then somehow they like pair up and become friends and rescue a mermaid or something. <laughs> I don't know. There's some like different things going on. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But I feel like, you know, some like piratey sea adventures are fun for the summer. Uh, and that's just kind of where we're going with that. So hopefully that'll be a fun one and it's a middle grade so hopefully it'll go quickly as well So I'm excited about that one. All right, let's see what roll number two brings us a 12. Oh my gosh That's so much better My fingers stuck. Okay, so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 
12. Romance, yay! I definitely am feeling in the mood for some romance books. Oh my gosh, that was like the best roll. Yay, we got a romance book. I'm so excited. So we are going to read Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. I definitely have been excited to get to this one. It sounds like the one that I'm going to like the most, although I'm not really sure why I feel like this is the one I'm going to like the most, especially since it's like a fake dating trope, which isn't always my favorite. But there's just something about this one that just seems like it's going to be the one that I like the most, okay? Okay, okay. So I enjoyed Get Alive Chloe Brown, and take a hint, Danny Brown is following Danny Brown, obviously, and um, she ends up getting saved by like the security guard in her building she like works at a school I believe or something and they kind of play it off as being extra and they start fake dating to have some better social media presence or something like that and I believe like Danny Brown's like a very strong-willed woman and um I don't know I think it's just gonna be really fun I think it's gonna be a great summer read and it also is bright yellow on the cover and guess what the book covered book club's theme is for the month bright yellow so there we go. I got that one in there. If you guys don't know, I am trying to fit the book covered book clubs theme in each month with at least one book. And you can get more information on that book club down below. It is run by Caitlin over at the Lit Review. And it is a fun one that she just started. I think this is the third month now. Okay, here we go with roll number three. We've got a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Gold. So that's going to be a sci-fi pick. All right, we got a sci-fi. I, I don't have a ton of ideas for this one. I'm not really in a sci-fi mood. So I'm thinking we should probably continue a series. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Let's let's finish the series. We're gonna read Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, this is the last book in the Illuminate Files. I have really enjoyed the first two books and I'm sure I will enjoy this one as well. And with the mixed media format going on, that it might just be a fun one to like throw in there. I don't know. <laughs> but it would also be great to finish another series because I'm really trying to finish up some series and not start a ton. Um, I'm, I'm finishing some, but starting a lot, so that goal is kind of not going as well as I'd like it to. So let's help it along. Let's keep up these big rolls. Here we go, roll number nine. And of course, because I said something, we get a two. One and two. Uh, so that is my fantasy color, so a fantasy book. That was roll number four, and we got a fantasy. And for this one, I think I'm going to do Fable by Adrienne Young. And I've been hearing some mixed reviews on this one, but oh my gosh, is the cover gorgeous. And then it matches with the sequel to it. I love that, the way it's set up. I just, I'm loving it. Anyways, another kind of piratey book. I'm feeling the piratey vibes right now, I guess. And basically, we're following Fable. She like watches her mom die and then her father like abandons her on this desert island like right after and so she's like found a way off and she pairs up with this other guy and she wants to go after her dad who's like this pirate big pirate person or something I don't know I think he's like the head pirate the captain I don't know <laughs> apparently I'm gonna learn some um, pirate terms because I don't know what the heck I'm talking about uh, maybe we'll watch some Pirates of the Caribbean this month and we'll just like have fun time with it I don't know anyways <laughs> that's my general knowledge and then I think like she ends up not being able to trust the guy that she's working with after all and there's some like weird something going on there so yeah we'll see how this one goes but I think it's gonna be fun see what uh bookland has for us for roll number five a seven that's an okay roll one two three four five six seven and another fantasy all right, we got another fantasy for roll number five. And for this one, I am going to do Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. And this one is kind of a fun circusy book. And I also really enjoy circus books during the summer. So why not throw a couple of those guys in? I've definitely been craving that. So we're following Serena and she works and travels in this traveling circus city. And she's an illusionist. And basically she's made all of these illusions and they make up the 
festival's freak show, but then, you know, they're just illusions, so they shouldn't be able to get murdered, but somehow somebody's murdering them, and she's trying to figure out what is going on and how this is even happening, um, and so, yeah. I don't know it's kind of like a little bit fantasy with kind of a mystery aspect in there and some circusy fun and I'm down for it oh also this one does fit into the buzzword-a-thon for this month so Kayla over at books and Lala has the buzzword-a-thon in which she has kind of a theme going for each month similar to uh, Caitlin's lit review book club and this month is either a name or a title in the title of the book so uh, a daughter would be a title of a person and so that one would work for that I think did I have another one that would have worked in there oh yeah take a hint Danny Brown um I was thinking it would work for this one too so I guess I have a couple for this one but Danny Brown would be the, her name and it's in the title so but that one I left for my book covered book club all right we're on roll number six here and we've got a nine. That's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we got contemporary. And roll number six. We're gonna throw in a contemporary. We've got kind of like a mix going on. I'm enjoying this. We've got like almost every genre. Um, anyways, for this one, I'm going to do Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I was lucky enough to get approved for an arc of this, and it's coming out, I believe, like June 1st. But I definitely want to read this one. I adore Taylor Jenkins Reid's work, and I just... I'm excited for her new book coming out. Um, my general understanding of this one is that we are following this family there's like three siblings and they um, live in a beach town and one of them is like a surfer and supermodel but she doesn't really want to be and then there's some other stuff going on with the other two and we're following I think just one day in their life and each of them and um, I know they're somehow connected to the other books um, and one of the characters in them I have to look up the connection a little bit more because I forget at this point what it is but um, I'm excited to be reading her next book because I just love I love all her books I read and we're moving into roll number seven let's give it a good shake this time I think a five we are all over the place today one two three four five Ooh, another little fun square I seriously love getting those I feel like when I remake a board I'm gonna make it with more of those special little squares so our next card here is Chloe is gonna choose my book so I'll insert a clip she's at school right now of her choosing what book I'm going to read okay well we got another special square which is super fun but this one I am not gonna know the book for a second because my daughter's at school so I will film her picking out a book off my bookshelf when she gets home and we will add that into my TBR. Okay guys, Chloe got home from school and so she is gonna help me pick a book. Where are you going? They can't see you down there. <laughs> there you go. So these three shelves, Chloe, are books that I haven't read yet. So anything here, anything here and then in the middle of this shelf. I read these two and we won't do those ones on these black ones on the end. So in the middle of this shelf or anything on this shelf or anything on this shelf, you can take a look at any of them and pick any of those books. What I do you think? I can even go in the Yeah, any of the books. Mm -hmm. And if you want to pull them out and look at them a little more, you can take them out and look a little. Mm -hmm. All right, I know you guys can't see the bottom shelf super well. But she's taking a look down there. This is the one? Wow, it was fast. Okay. So she picked A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. This is the last book in the Ember in the Ashes series. And I've been needing to get to this one for a while. I tried a few months ago and wasn't in the mood. So perfect. All right. So thank you, Chloe, for picking my book. Yay! <laughs> I want to be in it. You are in it. I think we're on roll number eight. Is that right? There we go. Uh, we got a nine. Okay. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Another contemporary. This TBR, it's getting long. Ah! Anyways, roll number eight is a contemporary. And for this one, I'm going to do another fun circus book. It's called Harley in the Sky. And this one's by Akemi Don Bowman. And I I think this one just sounds really fun. So we are following Harley and she I think is like 16 years old and she has dreamed for a long time of being a trapeze artist in the circus. Her family actually runs and owns a um, huge famous circus in Las Vegas and she watches the trapeze artists and she was like I want to do that but her family's like no you need to finish up school and do that and so she ends up running away to the rival circus and she's like no i'm gonna do what i want so yeah we have kind of a runaway to the circus vibe and i am all for that all right let's hope that roll number nine here is going to be the last of it so we got a six one two three four five six and that's a horror novel we've actually managed to hit almost all of the categories here the only thing we didn't get was a mystery thriller and we can't get a one so there it is. We finished. Da -da -da. Okay, so now we have roll number nine. This is the last one. We have a horror book. So we haven't had that yet, so that's good. But I think I'm going to squeeze in one of the ones that I'm thinking about doing for the Strangeathon here. And that's What Big Teeth by Rose Zabo. And. So this one, we have our main character. She's going back home after she's been estranged from her family for a long time. But like her family are all like monsters, I think. And I think she is too. And she's like having a hard time dealing with them and their, that side of them and like kind of not giving into her monstrous side or something like that. I don't know. Um, I've heard kind of mixed reviews on this one, but it intrigues me and I'm just, I'm curious. I'm, I don't know. I'm very curious about this one. So that's the last one we're throwing on this TBR. We have no punishments, so we have nine books. I did not do very good about reading off my own bookshelf, um, but hope, well, I'll be adding another book in when Chloe chooses the book. So let's run through it. We have Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. We'll have Chloe's pick. And those will be the ones off my bookshelf. And then we have The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, Fable, Daughter of the Burning City, Harley in the Sky, and Malibu Rising. And What Big Teeth. Oh my gosh. So many books that I don't have, so I'm just trying to remember all those. But that is going to be my nine books for my June TBR, although I know I'm definitely going to be reading some other ones, like I said. So as I said earlier, I'm doing the Olympics readathon and I'm on Team Hera. So for that prompt for Hera, I get double points for doing that one. And so I had to find a book with a queendom in it or some kind of matriarchy. And a lot of the people are reading Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Prado and I have been dying to get to this one so I am pretty sure that this one's gonna happen and then I was thinking about maybe second first impressions and red white and royal blue for a couple more romance books that I might try and throw in there um, maybe some other ones we'll see but definitely excited to be reading some more romance for romance-a-thon and then um, for Strangeathon, I'm <laughs> really not sure. There's quite a few different ones out there, um, and I just, I'm not sure where to go for these strange books. So I'm struggling a little bit with that. So I'm kind of waiting for um, maybe some TBR videos from some of the hosts to see what I want to throw into that one. I was thinking they read Library at Mount Char, and I know that's one that I've been interested in before. So I was thinking about maybe doing that one for that, but we'll see. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my June TBR. I hope you guys subscribed by now, and I would absolutely love for you guys to put an emoji down below, such as some kind of beach emoji, because I'm dying to go to the beach and just soak up all the sun's rays.